On the table, the grocery gang, your shopping's gone rotten. Time Wars! Our kind friends over at Moose Toys has sent the squirrels a nice box of incoming Time Wars toys. The squirrels much appreciate the kind gesture, as they are huge grocery gang fans. And as a kind gesture to you, a chance to win a couple two flush and fizz grocery toilets. More on that at the end of the video. We have a lot to go through today, mainly the new minis. We have three 10 packs and several flush and fizz grocery toilets. Plus, Gooey Chewy is here. Let's move right to the large multi-pack. Time Wars, it is 150 to collect two Flush and Fizz groceries in the toilet in these multi-packs. Looks like we're looking for the special edition computer virus groceries inside. On the back of the card, so much new! It's the grossest battle of all time. After accidentally opening up a time portal through a stinky toilet, the grocery gang are battling for their slimy lives. Rockbots from the future have flushed back in time and want to suck the yuck out of our moldy heroes. Who will crawl out of the toilet when you flush the fizz away? It's the muckiest battle of all time. It's the grocery gang time wars. Grocery groups to collect putrid pirates, time wasters, scabby samurai, medieval muck, Rotbots, computer viruses, Jurassic muck, vile west, and the limited edition fungus fossils. And let's remove from the toilet packaging. Funny how 2018 has gone to the potty. And outside of the package we are, I'm pretty sure I've got everyone's accessory mixed up. We've got to figure this out. All right, Time Wars team, stand to attention. Well, at least they're good listeners. Inside every package, usually there is a guide. Here's what we have. 150 more characters to find and search and hunt for. Let's see if we can name these guys and reacquaint them with their accessories. We start on the left side with the Putrid Pirates. Arrgh. That's right, we have a common tacky telescope. Love it. I see a little eyeglass on top. This guy is a scope. I like the use of the hole on the bottom for a telescope. His accessory would be a pirate flag. Must be over here. Makes him a little bit tippy. Move that flag in a bit. Okay, our next mini. We are moving on over to the Time Wasters with Slop Watch. Ooh, Slop Watch is rare. The Time Wasters are all about time, so I'm assuming he's some sort of wristwatch kind of wrapped up. I really like the bright green on this guy. Very silly. Uh, what would be his accessory? This strange barbell thing. There we go. Next in line with Medieval Muck, the Muckyevil Book. <laughs> Oops, fell over there. A common mini with what looks to be a hatchet as its weapon. I like this book guy. It may cross toy themes well. Now we have something ultra funny and clever with the Scabby Samurai, a common binja star. Love the purple on this one. Looks like it welds a sigh and stands pretty good. Now we move on to the Vile West with Cowpat Hat, a common hat. Hey ha! Oh, he's got a lasso accessory. Things are starting to come into focus. Back over to Medieval Muck with William Smell, a common, kind of a sad looking character. I see an arrow through it, must be an apple. Kind of hard to say since it's orange, but William Tell, apples, arrows, that sort of thing. This mini comes with, what is this? It's either the broken handle of a sword or maybe an apple peeler, hard to tell. And our first Jurassic Muck character. Looks like we have Jurassic Jocks, a rare mini. Jurassic Jocks, yuck. Looks like it wields a stick. Kinda gross on that one, for sure. And our last mini would be, again, from the Time Wasters, a common harm clock with a bent hand as an accessory. Not a bad one to round out the clock of figures. This pack was certainly colorful. All right, now we gotta get on to this toilet. The two Flush and Fizz groceries in the toilet, the main toy reveal theme of the Time Wars toys. 
I have removed the main plastic protective seal around the whole toilet. We also have another plastic piece here. Looks like more instructions there. Looks very similar to what we saw earlier in the year with what was that other toy line with toilets. We're going to pour some water into that back tank and we're going to reveal something inside. Oh, the flushanity. Time to go for it. I have my cup of water. We have our funnel set. Let's open the back. Place in the funnel. And we're going to pour away just when I changed my new blue backdrop too. Hopefully I don't make a super mess. Whoa. Busy. I appreciate the use of yellow dye. Ugh. Still fizzing away. I see something really gross floating in there. That's disgusting. I think we're almost about done. Give it a little extra shake to fuzz out the rest of the fuzzies. Now we can finally see what is in here. Looks like we have a plastic topper. And our first flushy. And our second. Ooh, that guy looks bad. So who did we fizz out here? On the lid of the toilet, we have the ultra rare Stinky Cheese Bot. Stinky Cheese Bot might just be one of my most favorite new groceries. It's like the Terminator of cheese. Bleah. Also inside, we have a special edition computer virus, a clear grocery. This one has to be Pirate Virus. One-eyed and very goopy. Looking closer inside reveals some sort of mechanical mayhem, possibly the virus maker. Very interesting and very 3D layered. So that's our first attempt at flush and fizzing, not too bad. The reveal is a little more explosive than I would have thought. Okay, moving on to another multi-pack. I see several characters I have to see, this mighty iron glove being one of them. All right, groceries front and center again, please. All right, looks to be another great group of groceries. Let's begin from the right this time. Starting again with more putrid pirates. It's a common busted cutlass. <laughs> busted cutlass with some sort of strange fish club, it looks like. I like when there's a good contrast between accessory and mini. Now we jump on over to the medieval muck with a rare dank dragon. <laughs> Probably call it the Pepto Dragon. We have a sword as an accessory. Simple, but precise. And he's large enough and thick enough to hold that sword. Good looking mini. Looks like we have our first repeat of the day with muck evil book. That kind of happens a lot with the multi-packs. Now back to the time wasters with a common puku clock. I like these clocks, they are ultra silly. He's holding a cuckoo clock, a wooden cuckoo bird, as a accessory. Love it. I imagine if there's a cuckoo clock collector out there somewhere, they will run into these someday and go, I must have these. Now we move on to Jurassic Muck, with a common, and might be the best name I've ever read, Velococraptor. Velococraptor. I absolutely love that. With a club for an accessory weapon. Kind of reminds me of a mini Bosque bounty hunter from Star Wars. All right, finally this iron glove, I have to know who he is. From the medieval muck, it is a common Sir Muck Knuckles. Hey! Sir Muck Knuckles has a battle ax. I like these gloves, I'm always giving them to Cobra Commander, but in this case, I might have to dig out my old Masters of the Universe Fisto figure. A very nice mini. And we are looking back at the clock with time wasters. This one is a rare mold timer. Is that supposed to be Clocksworth from Beauty and the Beast? Possible spectacles. As a bludgeoning accessory. Very educated with that one, must be the mustache hands. 
And finally, the vile west with a common crusty cactus. You go, cactus. What is that for an accessory? Just kind of like a little paddle board. Thought it was a stick of butter at first, but it's a paddle board. So there are the eight visible multi-pack figures. Pretty good common collection going. Now for the fizz. Another toilet to behold. Good call on these funnels too, by the way. Bad call on this drippy cup I've got going. Oh, the throthiness. I think I went a little bit light on the water this time. If anyone needs to vomit, I understand. We have an affirmative on the yellow liquid again. Something is floating up to the top. Looking possibly rare, I hope. What do we got? It's another clear groceries computer virus. I believe we have a six systems on pot. And again, all of these inside have a inner figure. This one might be a little easier to see than the last. Very creepy. I like these viruses. We'll place with the other one. And of course, one more grocery is in there somewhere. Ew, how am I gonna get this one out? I think I'm going to uh, dump back into my cup here and uh, see, again, I just, just cleaned my set. As much as it looks like, it is not Mountain Dew, please don't drink. Looks like you can remove the top here if you're having trouble getting your fleshy out. There we go. Oh, please don't make a mess. Ew. Oh, revolting. You should be happy to know that the water does not smell bad. Good call on Moose there. So who do we have here? Has to be another rot bot. This one is an ultra rare burp burp bot. burp -arito. Anyone want to throw up yet? Oh, the rot bots are great. A Terminator-like rot bot burrito. And I think these fancier groceries are given a little more care in the paint department. Although, no accessories with this one. Still though, what a find. Moving on to the final multi-pack of the day. Okay guys, get in line again. Alright, and there are some good ones in here too. Here's their pile of weapons. And let's move on from the left to right again. And we have something familiar on the left side from the Scabby Samurai. It is another Binja Star in yellow. So now that it's yellow, it makes a little more sense. It's a banana, right? I didn't catch that when it was purple. Binja Star has a Psy as an accessory. Where is it? There it is. Binja Stars are some of my new favorites from these groceries. Next in line, at first I thought Vile West, but no, Pirate, obviously, now that I see the skull and crossbones on the upper hat. We have a common Captain Slop Beard. <laughs> That's a weird call out. Looks like Slop Beard has a wooden bird. I hope that's a wooden bird. I guess it could be a live bird if you wanted it to be as an accessory. Next has to be from Jurassic Muck, another Velocicraptor. In green this time. Nice to have one in orange and green with a yellow bone accessory. Back to the putrid pirates with a rare trashed treasure. Nothing beats a treasure of trash. Looks like we have a scooper of sorts as a accessory. Wait, this next guy isn't a pirate? I thought for sure. We're back to the scabby samurai though with a common crusty katana. Looks like Krusty Katana uses a fork as a weapon, knife, and fork weapon combo. So now we're back to the putrid pirates with a common soggy barrel. He has like a little purple hat on top, I think. Wiggly wooden sword for the accessory. Now back to the Vile West with a common cowpat hat. I think this is our second cowpat hat today. Previous was in yellow, now we're purple again with a good whip. Accessory. We'll finish up this lineup with 
a rare Dino Drig from Jurassic Muck Fly Swatter as accessory. Dino the Dinosaur in his later years, I suppose. Another great solid lineup for the multi-pack. That is really the smart way to go when collecting. Alright, time for another fizzy toilet reveal. I think I'll load this one up with water. Yeah, it almost sounds like a soda. Whew. Yeah. All right, we begin with another computer virus. I believe this one is special edition Sick Glitch. At first, I thought it was similar to Sick Systems, but no, Sick Glitch is its own. A little bit smaller, still kind of pointy, and still a nice, transparent-like technical piece of hardware inside. Very nice. And back to the Rockbots with an ultra rare slime apple bot. Slime apple in the pineapple way of thinking, not apple, but pineapple. Very funny, he's kind of got like a little Terminator snorkel, or is that just kind of a headpiece for his goggles? Nicely done, I really like how these uh, toilets so far have been giving out ultra rares. If you're more interested in the flush and fizzies than the multi-packs, luckily for you, you can buy the flush and fizzies separately. Front and center is the packaging of what you will find. The multi-packs have been kind. Let's see what happens with these singles. Wow, we have a plumbing issue on set. It's spilling, it's spilling. Let's start digging in. Central Station, I really need a tweezers for this. We have found a common Scabby Samurai Spewy Sushi. It should have a yellow fish accessory floating around there somewhere. Another Dino Drag from Jurassic Muck. There's Sushi's fish. What do we got in here? Our second sushi of the day. Back to back sushi. I should go eat sushi tonight, must be a good omen. This scabby samurai would be spewy sushi number two. This one has a brown fish accessory. Ugh. Ooh, I think we found something. It looks like a rot bot. Right on. So we have an ultra rare, first on the list of rot bots, the putrid pear bot. Love it, love pears, they're quite tasty. Oop, don't fall back in, buddy. Very good find. Makes up for all that sushi. And one more toilet to uncover. Who do we have in here? Okay, I see another star. So this one's right from the beginning. And I think we've seen this guy too, so we're ending on a little bit of a low note, but that's okay. I think I did pretty good with those single packs. Anytime you can pick out a rot bot is a win. My goodness, that was a lot to open today. And we didn't even get to Gooey Chewy. I guess next time with the action figures. Since Moose was so kind in delivering these to the squirrels, we're going to have our very first Squirrel Stampede contest. I've got three sets of two Flush and Fizz groceries to give out. So what we're going to do here is try and make this technical. First and foremost, ask your parents for permission. The last thing the squirrels want to do is get in trouble. To enter the contest, let's go with the first 150 comments to write what is their favorite Grocery Gang Time Wars grocery mini character in that comment. It has to be a character name. I am not accepting first, second, third, things like that. I want to see your favorite character of the Time Wars grocery mini characters. If you can leave that in the comment, I will take the first 150 comments, throw those names into a bowl and draw three, and we will have three winners for two Flush and Fizz Groceries. This unfortunately has to be USA shipping only, and if we are unable to catch you in an untimely manner, we will go next in line. Contest ends at 150 accepted comments, or two weeks after this video's posting. So good luck, again, place your favorite character in the comments, and that's what I have to say about that. Can Logos enter the contest? 
Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. <laughs>